Hey everybody, this is First Aid Kite, and I've got two guys with me. Hey, I'm Psycho here. Hey, this is Node Van. And hey, this is my kicking rad shit. The, the one that's not actually connected to anything. <laughs> hey, those wings are all connected. Wait, is there a rocket on the right side? I can't see through that stuff floating in midair. Um, <laughs> there, there is, but there's also like a uh, gun pointing straight backwards that isn't firing. At all. It's like watching Lego explode in slow motion. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So anyway, we're going to the first of the Tier 2 worlds today, which effectively means that all the worlds are going to become excellent. <laughs> and awesome. Well, fun. well, actually, no, I mean, uh, spoilers, the first- oh, jeez, slow down. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I destroyed so many heartless ships, slow down. This, this game's... Wait, how did the Heartless get ships? They never explained it. Uh, how did the Heartless get anything, really? I, I do not mind that the Heartless get ships, because the Kingdom Hearts 2 gummy ship portions are fucking radical. I They're, like, ridiculously them. easy, and the whole point is to see how many guns you can fit onto a ship. Well, yeah, but, eh. Well, yeah, basically. What's anyway. What's having a ship? You're not gonna bolt guns all over. And all of a sudden, draw distance kicks you in the face. No, not really. That was just the loading part where it had the transition what music was playing. Also, here's Agrabah. But I, I don't think a bunch of fuck off meteors are just going to appear out of nowhere that size. Well, obviously you've never flown a spaceship. I can't say that I have. Well, there you go. Don't yeah, well, my name meteors. is Buzz Aldrin, so. <laughs> I don't think Buzz Aldrin has fought in a spaceship either. Uh, Again, you, shows what you, know. you, you haven't seen that video clip of Buzz Aldrin with Mario, have you? Can't say I have. It's okay. Oh, hey, look. But I expect a link after this is over. Okay. My name is Jafar. Look, my staff is so much better than yours. Yours is just a puny little green ball. Mine is a snake. I am clearly a bad guy because I have a beard. Yes. And a shitty parrot. I, excuse me, that is like the best parrot. I, I love. It's uh, the only uh, parrot. Dad, have it. Why? Why now, of all times, do I forget this guy's name? Agrabah is full of. of Jafar. All Jafar? No, not Jafar. The guy who voiced Iago. Um, oh, uh, shit! I don't know. But why worry? He only ever speaks in that voice. <laughs> No, no. It's like I was I was recording this and I was like, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. I love the guy that voices that parrot. And, and now I can't remember. Brilliant. No, we'll never know. Yep. Oh well. <laughs> Someone look it up. No. Oh. Quick, find something to ruin in, in this video. Spoil or something. <laughs> every every person from Agrabah that has a beard always has one of those weird, like, curly Q beards. Like Jafar's. And I always expect at least one of them to, like, stroke it or something, but no. Nobody ever touches the beard. Really? Nobody, Nobody ever touches their beard. That's crushing. Oh, I just need to touch beard. Bad guy. Nope. No beard. Touching. No beard, brothers. They call themselves bad guys. Can we stroke their beards properly? Well, at least we know these other guys are bad guys because they have turbans on their heads. <laughs> so you just get here and all of a sudden fight. Yeah, uh, we spawn in and suddenly we're fighting towel heads. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bandits. Saw so just saw so guys wearing turbans and the red haze came down. When you well, woke up, yeah. middle of a fight. Th this is probably one of the big reasons why I imagine a Final Fantasy IX crossover didn't happen right away with Kingdom Hearts, because how are they going to explain why the player isn't attacking all the black mages immediately? <laughs> and, and granted, when they finally did include any of the characters, it was frickin' Vivi, and he was an enemy anyway, so... So hey, uh, I'm going to give Donald one ether. This is going to prove to be a very bad move, and I will show you why later. I figure... I figure, well, gee, Donald <laughs> will have an ether. That way, once he runs out of magic, he can just 
I don't think I ever gave them anything higher than, like, a normal potion, because otherwise they would just waste it. Well, that's the thing. They're always wasting items. You see, here's the thing. Uh, Donald, um, he, I figure, well, he has the cure spell now, so I'm sure having an ether on hand would be useful, because, well, he can cure me now. Yeah. He won't, will he? No, no, he won't. No. He'll cure. Let me guess. He cures Goofy, who had most of his health, and then you die. Uh, yes, that actually happened in one of the previous recordings of this. Uh, uh, you didn't leave it in here. No, I, I did not leave it in. Uh, I died because uh, I was at low health. Goofy was at max. Donald healed Goofy twice and cast Arrow on him, and then I died. I am some kind of genius. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's but it's okay because like. Right as I was dying, I heard the noise of Donald casting a spell. It, it was gravity. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck you, Donald. I don't think I ever used gravity against an enemy. Uh, gravity can be useful, but only in very specific circumstances, I find. It's a lot more useful in the sequel. But then again, that's largely because of that one area where you can grind a whole bunch of experience just because of gravity. Yeah, I think the only time I ever used it in this game is to get the chest. Mm. And it took me forever to figure that out, too. What do you mean? Like... To use gravity to get the chests. What? What chests? Yeah, oh, what? yeah, he already used it. And, and look, he's already out of ETH, uh, he's already out of MP again. Jesus. Well, yeah. Donald, you dumbass. You no one ever accused PS Hero games of having good AI, did they? Is it possible to get through this without high jump? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, you don't get high jump in for for a while now. I'm pretty sure. Actually, really? Uh, y y did you get, get high jump? No, nope. you you get high jump uh in Monstro, which isn't for a while. Oh, I thought you already did that. No, no, Monstro. Uh, Monstro is like way later. Uh. Well, actually, no. It's like uh, I, I want to say it's in the tier two worlds, but you know, it's not worth it. Puppies. Um. <laughs> oh, hey. Um. Magic carpet. Yeah, why not? Makes much sense to anything. But let's explore the, the city. Flew off, but who cares? <laughs> yeah. Um. Basically, the game is pretty linear. If you try to do anything sequence breaky, then it just kind of tells you, screw off, explore more. Well, it, it, it's especially noticeable in the next video. Yeah, I remember getting lost in this place because there's so much goddamn jumping. And I kept missing jump. Well, I, 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 I'll I, be honest. Uh, during my test run of this place, I got lost. But that was because I somehow missed the magic carpet even being in there. Uh, it, it's tough unless you suddenly notice that there's a really weird... Tsn, 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 tsn noise constantly playing in that room. I, I didn't, but there you go. Yeah, and that's, it, uh, that's supposed to be the noise of the magic carpet. Anyway, that mm. gate there is supposed to be open. At this point, I'm thinking, what what did I do wrong? That, that gate's not open. Oh no. Um, <laughs> no. Sh should I panic yet? Yeah. Um, oh, this, you just knocked that thing down there. Yeah. No, oh, whoa. What? And, um, oh, shit. Uh, it, it's a magic jumping... Uh, well, the, 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 those things are annoying. They're uh, pot spiders, uh, a type of heartless that in, that infect pots and are effectively spiders inside the pots. Um, so they decided, someone decided it was a good idea to infest pots. Yeah. Hey, a stereotype. Uh, well, I wouldn't really call this guy a stereotype since he was in the movie, but, you know, he was like the narrator. Oh, you know yeah, something that really bugs me about well. these games? These games that all say, oh, we're really poor, please buy something, you could sell everything you have to them at normal price. Where do they get this money from? Uh, welcome to JRPGs. Um, I'm pretty sure there are games that... In fact, there are a couple games I can think of where you can't actually sell everything back because... In they... Final Fantasy VII, that place where Barrett came from, mm. under the... Whatever that place is, I can't remember the name of it. 
where they are all poor down there, and there's a guy down there that sells things. I remember selling a maxed out materia for two hundred fifty thousand. Donald, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, well, see, what they didn't mention is that he's paying you entirely in IOUs. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess the world accepts IOUs then. Well, I know in Sid Meier, I know in uh, Sid Meier's Pirates you couldn't just sell all of your items at any uh, base because people were actually cheap there, and if you kept doing it, uh, the people would run out of cash there because you kept taking all their money <laughs> by giving them all your spices. <laughs> so, Pirates was a fun game. Uh, yeah, it was. I, I really liked Pirates Gold. I was thinking of LPing it for a while, but here I am. <laughs> Here it's on the list. Kingdom Hearts. Game. Oh, by the way, this is Jasmine. She only has, like, uh, one line, and it's always... Hello? I'm Jasmine. <laughs> Where's Aladdin? So, so why the hell does she immediately trust you? Um, spiky hair and a duck. How about the clown shoes? Uh, well, have you seen his shoes? They're pointy. Yeah, because... Um, what's his face? Sorry, it's obviously too badly dressed to be a bad guy. Uh, our our magic staff is a giant key. His magic staff is a snake. Ah. Jasmine, run! Walks off screen. <laughs> Jasmine, <laughs> run! Away. Disappears from the rest of the game. Spawns in air. Well, at least you're not stuck in an escort mission. Yep. You know, beyond the one you're kind of already in with bloody Donald and Goofy. Well, to be fair, at least they're pretty decent at being... Uh, at, at least they're decent meat at shields. this game. They're good meat shields, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I'm mostly just focused on trying to get all the treasure chests in Agrabah first. And of, course, magic. and of course, Donald and Goofy triggered all the enemies, so I have to wait for them to finish it off. 